All right, so I had to start over because I, one of my screens froze, but now let's try it again. Uh, so right now I'm gonna show you guys how, how this, like a, it's a drawing monitor. It's used for people that do like digital art. Uh, so it's the same as a drawing tablet. So it has the, uh, a touch sensitive screen and a pen. Um, but the main difference is that like at this guy, whenever I do something, I see exactly where it's gonna land that's different than the drawing tablet that's just like a black uh, accessory and then you actually have to figure out where it's gonna land on the screen. Um, so, so this is like a, a Huon Canvas Pro. This is a 16 inch, but like a, there are 12 inch, there's 20 inch. Um, so like a, the, the 16 inch would be like around like 250 bucks uh, investment. Um, so what I wanna do is actually show how that works. So like a, um, this is actually an external monitor. So like a, I can go um, and set up like a, as different screens, you know? And then I can just use as a second monitor. Like I like to use like a, a second monitor always when, I have, when I'm playing with more than one spreadsheet. Um, but um, that's so for admin stuff mostly. But like a, to use, so this is no different than an, than an external monitor that's touch sensitive, you know? So uh, I can go ahead and uh, start. So like I, it, this on my canvas, this is on my big blue button. I just started like a conference. All right, so I can start my conference. Echo test. All right, let's the echo test. So right now I'm the only one in the, so if you go here on your, on your canvas, on your big blue button screen, you can you can select the, like the mouse, the a tool like the pen, and then you can go ahead and draw right here, so uh, the students would see what they're trying to draw, or uh, you could use as this both of these are are the same screen. I could go here. Let me let me switch to black. And then you can write something there, you know, something that it would not be able to do with the, so like, a, let's say I'm teaching physics, you want to do like a forces, you know. Uh, even though this is like a good tool, I see, it's, it's like, it doesn't really quite work, it doesn't work as, as good if you're using the whiteboard right on Canvas. Um, so what I did was actually, uh, I opened just like a paint, painting brush, you know? Um, and I could, I, or you can use like OneNote. I think I would use OneNote and like I open my PDF there or my, or my uh, and then you can take notes right on your, uh, so I, you can go ahead here and uh, share your application window, application window. All right, so right there. So right now the students are seeing this, right? So uh, you can go ahead and uh, let me say I'm gonna get a pencil. Now I'm gonna write something here. Let me make it very, like a lot bigger so you guys can see something. So that's me using the trackpad on the computer. And uh, I can go ahead and uh, actually do like a, I would say it's not perfect, but it brings me a lot closer to what would be the using just like a like a piece of paper. Not quite, I said. It's very far from being perfect, but this is a way that a person could go with, you know? So uh, you can actually have some reasonable, like a, some drawing that somebody could understand on the other end, or you could just like a, try to, like a squiggle through, you know? So uh, again, so like this is, uh, a drawing monitor 
so you know exactly where your stuff are gonna land, you know? Let's say I'm gonna do f equals to fx plus fy. So, or I could actually struggle and try to make like a very poor job using my trackpad. Um, the difference, so again, the difference between this and a drawing uh, tablet is that like the drawing tablet, you have to figure out where the draw, the whatever you're gonna write, it's gonna land on the screen. This one actually you see coming out, you know? So that's the main difference. Um, yeah, I can post li like a link uh, so you guys can see. Um, yeah, I hope you guys can have a use for this video. Uh, thank you.